In the 1970s, the Soviet Union's increasing air dominance was felt all across the world. And emerging threats from the Su-27 flankers, the MiG-29s, and Soviet air defense systems were concerning. This led U.S. to start its work on its next-generation air superiority fighter, which gave us the iconic F-22 Raptor. The fifth-generation F-22 is the best air dominance fighter in the world thanks to a special blend of stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness, as well as lethal long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry. Similar to the space race, the F-22 was first developed out of rivalry with the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union's ability to catch up to the F-15 and F-16 was concerning for the U.S. Air Force. The powerful air superiority pair came into being in the 1970s. To outclass the Soviets, they started working on the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program in the early 1980s with the goal of creating a new air superiority platform that would include stealth and a multitude of advanced technologies. Two teams made it to the prototype stage, introducing the YF-22 by Lockheed Martin Boeing and the YF-23 by Northrop McDonnell Douglas. The YF-22 won the competition and went into production and testing in 1997. The Raptor first entered service in late 2005 and immediately began dominating war fighting exercises. The F-22 made a huge impact on the world around it. The F-22 Raptor has an advanced sensor suite that enables the pilot to follow, identify, shoot, and eliminate air-to-air -air threats before they are discovered. Pilot situational awareness in the air-to-air -air arrangement is greatly enhanced by significant improvements in cockpit architecture and sensor fusion. The Raptor is equipped with two AIM-9 Sidewinders and six AIM-120s. In an air-to-ground configuration, the F-22 possesses a substantial ability to attack surface targets. It will use onboard avionics for navigation and weapons delivery support, and the aircraft is capable of internally carrying two 1,000-pound GBU-32 joint assault missiles. Up to eight small diameter bombs and an updated radar has been added in the future to improve the air to ground capability. The Raptor would also carry two AIM 120s and two AIM 9s in the air to ground configuration. The F 22 maximizes both the computer technologies and the pilot's tactical abilities to their fullest extent, leaving the tactical choices to the professionals behind the joystick. The canopy is constructed of the largest polycarbonate glass and the cockpit is the first to be compatible with standard night vision goggles. It is designed to accommodate a single pilot, improved life support systems, and the ACE-2 ejection seat. Finally, helmet-mounted equipment is compatible with the cockpit, enabling improved and more reliable attention while flying the aircraft. The helmet-mounted systems are some of the most advanced in the industry. Unlike early versions of the widely used joint helmet mounted queuing system, the device is attached to the Raptor pilot's existing helmet and has a monocle in front of one eye to display high definition color symbology. It is compatible with night vision goggles. These fit in front of the eyepiece, allowing the pilot to view the information it displays even when it is dark. The modification also matters somewhat doomed visor which does appear rather large under the Raptor's sleek canopy. The F-22 was designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Measures to reduce radar cross-section, the F-22 was designed with an include airframe shaping with the alignment of edges, internal carriage of weapons, fixed geometry serpentine inlets, and curved vanes that prevent line of sight of the engine faces. Use of radar absorbent material and attention to details such as hinges and pilot helmets that could provide a reduced radar return. The F-22 was also designed to have decreased radio frequency emissions, infrared signature and acoustic signature as well as reduced visibility to the naked eye. The aircraft's flat thrust vectoring nozzles reduce infrared emissions of the exhaust plume to mitigate the threat of heat-seeking surface-to-air or air-to-air -air missiles. While the F-22's exact RCS is classified, but in 2009, Lockheed Martin released information indicating that from certain angles the airplane has an RCS of 0.0001 square meters, which is equivalent to the radar reflection of a steel marble, which makes it completely invisible on enemy radar. The F-22 has a state-of-the-art Pratt and Whitney F-119 engine with 2D thrust vectoring capabilities. These engines produce more thrust than any current fighter engine. The combination of sleek aerodynamic design and increased thrust allows the F-22 to cruise at supersonic airspeeds. 
Not using Afterburner, the characteristic known as Super Cruise. Super Cruise greatly expands the F-22's operating envelope in both speed and range over current fighters, which must use fuel-consuming Afterburner to operate at supersonic speeds. With its thrust vectoring capabilities, the F-22 is highly maneuverable, which helps the pilot easily point and turn the aircraft at high and low speed during dogfights. The F-22 has an internal weapons bay which is capable of holding a large number of weapons in a stealthy manner. The range of weapons that may be used with the aircraft is not very vast. Although the Raptor can carry both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, the size and type are very limited. The F-22 is currently built to carry medium-range AIM-120s, AMROM, and short-range AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles for air-to-air -air warfare. For air-to-ground combat, it may also contain a variety of JDAM bombs. The company most closely linked with the F-22 Raptor is Lockheed Martin. However, Boeing also deserves praise for their work on the record-breaking aircraft. They worked very hard to create the F-22's wings. They also created the fuselage of the aircraft, integrated avionics, and a number of electronic equipment, including fire protection, life support, and training systems. To prevent other countries from emulating the F-22's capabilities, the United States has banned sales outside the country. Federal legislation in the United States prohibits the export of the F-22 in order to safeguard its classified capabilities and stealth technology. Customers for U.S. fighters are demanding older models like the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon or the more recent F-35 Lightning II, which incorporates F-22 technology but was created to be less expensive, more adaptable, and exportable. In September 2006, Congress upheld the ban on foreign F-22 sales. Even when NATO nations and allies are interested in buying the F-22s, the ban is still into effect till this day. So, where exactly has the F-22 seen real action? It entered battle in 2014 after years of development and research. Kadena Air Base in Okinawa has frequently received F-22 fighter unit deployments and other military installations worldwide, but they didn't fire a shot until 2014. By carrying out some of the initial attacks in Operation Inherent Resolve, the American-led invasion in Syria, on September 22, 2014. Between September 2014 and July 2015, the aircraft delivered 1,000-pound GPS-guided bombs on Syrian targets close to Tishran Dam. In 204 sorties over Syria, F-22s dropped 270 bombs at about 60 different targets. The F-22s provided close air support during their deployment and also served to discourage Syrian, Iranian, and Russian aircraft from hitting the U.S.-backed Kurdish troops and disrupting U.S. activities in the area. On February 7, 2018, F-22s took part in U.S. operations against pro-government forces in eastern Syria. Despite these attack operations, the F-22's primary duty during the operation was intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance. It's unclear exactly how many people the F-22 Raptor has killed, but there are probably between 3,000 and 5,000 members of the Islamic State. Each Raptor is capable of streaking into Syria almost invisibly, climbing to altitudes of close to 60,000 feet, supercruising at speeds up to Mach 1.7, and dropping up to eight small bombs on up to four different targets from a distance of more than 50 miles from their launch site. Alternatively, the F-22 may launch a pair of 1,000-pound JDM from 15 miles away in an effort to hit larger strategic targets. The high price of F-22s has drawn criticism, and some people think that using several producers led to the unaffordable price tag. Time magazine revealed the F-22A's hourly operating cost in 2013. Even though $68,362 is a lot, it isn't the most expensive military aircraft. For instance, the hourly rate for Air Force One was $161,591. So what is included in this number? This figure represents the total cost of ownership throughout the duration of the jet, including any modifications. The F-22 fleet needed more than 40 hours of maintenance each trip in 2014. It appears that as the fleet has aged, the amount of maintenance has grown significantly. 
The life cycle cost of one F-22 Raptor is an estimated $334 million, and a single unit costs $150 million. As federal spending for education, healthcare, and the arts plummets, many are reconsidering whether projects like the F-22 Raptor are ultimately worth their enormous price tag, while the Air Force said the F-22's advanced capabilities simply weren't necessary for the previous conflicts. Due to expensive production cost, its feasibility in current conflicts and development of the new F-35, the production of F-22 Raptors were stopped in the late 2011. Currently, the U.S. only operates 187 F-22s in its arsenal. Later in its life cycle, the F-22 fleet was repeatedly grounded while the Air Force looked into the oxygen problem. By the end of 2012, the service thought it had the issues under control. They were divided into several smaller issues rather than one major one. The planes were eventually permitted to take flight once more. The stealth high position and scorching performance of the Raptors are a definite advantage. Theoretically, a skilled F-22 pilot should be able to sneak up on an enemy aircraft and strike without the enemy even realizing it was there. As rising threats of air superiority from China's fifth-generation J-20 and J-35 fighter and Russia's Su-57 felon and upcoming Su-75 checkmate, the U.S. is already in gear to produce its sixth-generation fighter aircrafts. Even with other countries catching up, they still can't match the F-22s in stealth and performance capabilities. That's why, undeniably, the F-22 Raptor is the ultimate fighter jet in the world.